Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac, and today we're going to talk about the practice session that just happened for the Valencia Grand Prix this weekend. Now, the practice was topped by Maverick Vinales from Jorge Martin, Johan Zerko, Fabio Di Giantonio, Marco Besecchi, Brad Binder, Mark Marquez, Raul Fernandez, Jack Miller, Alicia Spagro, Enia Bastanini, Alex Marquez, Fabio Quadraro, Franco Morbidelli, Peko Banyaya, Taka Nakagami, Luca Marini, Augusto Fernandez, Alex Rins, Lorenzo Salvadori, and Paul Espagaro. Joan Mayer didn't take part in this session, and as we know, Miguel Oliveira is out. Now, Maverick looked really strong, to be fair, and be, to be very, very honest, but again, he always seems to be fast on a Friday and then when someone gets in front of him or the Aprilia can't run the lines they want to, they seem to be in a bit of trouble. If he can qualify well and also get out in front at the start of the race, he could be on for a good solid win. Jorge Martin has really stepped up the mind games. He got an early banker in to secure his spot in Q2 um, and then when it was the last run, he stuck next to Peko and really I would cl- try to call it a little bit of intimidation making him sure that he knows that he's there he knows he's faster he could close the gap he could nearly pass him when he wanted to it was epic to be honest did it have an effect on Peko probably I do think so Johan Zarco did look fairly strong so did Fabio Di Antonio who I hear is pretty close to signing for VR46 this weekend on a one-year deal Marco Bisecchi did have a bit of an egg beater uh, crash. Um, so definitely took a lot of tumbles. So I wonder how he's going to be tomorrow. Brad Binder looked solid as well. You know, not crazy, but solid. Mark Marquez did tap the timesheets for a while. Um, didn't need to tow anyone this time, which is remarkable. Solid for Raul Fernandez. Will he hold on there? I'm not quite sure. Jack Miller had a double crash in that practice session one of them you know did send him flying um, and then he had another one shortly after so he's definitely going to be sore and sorry for himself Alicia Spagro was one of the last ones to get himself into Q2 looked solid you know but he did have a crash as well so he is a bit delicate Enia Bastanini he looked okay didn't have a lot of pace did set his fastest lap at the end of it Alex Marquez as well Just didn't look comfortable is what I would call it. Now, he's only four tenths of a second out. But again, he just didn't look as comfortable as the likes of Gigi Antonio, etc. Fabio Quadraro and Franco Morbidelli. I kind of think they're showing the true pace of the Yamaha. Fabio is running new little wings under the front wings. Uh, I think they're on the forks, actually. The major surprise is Peko Benyoya, 15th place. Now, it doesn't really tell the story of what was really happening. I don't think Peko has the pace to match Martin this weekend. Uh, definitely does look a little bit slower. Um, But the last run when he was going out, he was followed by Jorge Martin. He even ran way off the circuit to try and lose people, but Martin followed him all the way through the dirty stuff and everything. Um, and then on his last... Uh, proper run uh, there was yellow flag so kind of stumped his performance I reckon his last lap he would have been probably 6th or 7th so he is a little bit behind but again being in 15th place without realistically being able to do a hot lap kind of says where it is so it's not the whole story Uh, better for Takanakagami Uh, surprised to see Luca Marini down in 8th in our 17th place it's not really uh where you'd expect him again Augusto Fernandez would have expected a little bit stronger Alex Rins had you know we welcome him back but he also had a crash um you can see he is lifting up the leg to protect it um into turn one Lorenzo Salvadori you don't really expect much from from him good performance uh head of Polo Spagaro who, you know, I just seem as to think is just really, really checked out. Overall, I think it was a really good practice session. A little bit boring, um, if I'm honest. But again, look, there's a lot of tension between the, the top two at the moment. Really is squeaky bum time. 
you know, from what I've seen today, Martin definitely looks like he has to go out and win it. Um, whether Pecco uh, can finish above fifth in boat races if uh, Martin wins it is yet to yet to be seen. There's a lot of riders that are very close together in, in time. So it's definitely going to be a nail biter tomorrow, but it's very hard to look past Jorge Martin winning it tomorrow. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What did you think of the practice session and who you got for tomorrow? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.